Welcome to the Shipping Podcast, where I meet interesting maritime professionals sharing their passion for the shipping industry and their everyday job. I am your host. My name is Lena Gothberg. Hello, Shipping Podcast listeners, and welcome to episode 234. Again, it's a solo episode, since I wanted to take the opportunity to share the results from the audience survey with you. Before we dive into the survey, happy International Women's Day. The United Nations has designated the year's 2024 theme as Investing Women Accelerate Progress, with a focus on addressing economic disempowerment. While the campaign theme for this year is Inspire Inclusion. I hope you inspire inclusion and lead with it towards a better future. Now let's turn to the audience survey of the Shipping Podcast. I wish I could speak with each of you. I'm curious about who you are, where you are and why you listen to what I say. I can't know if I don't ask you. So I'm very grateful for the responses from you, the audience, even though I was maybe expecting a few more of you to reply. The survey is open through March. So if you can give five minutes of your time to me, there is a link on the website shippingpodcast.com. Look for that cute puppy. And please, just five minutes. Most respondents to this survey live in the United States, the UK and the Netherlands. At least that is what you say. That correlates with the only statistics that I can get from the Audio Hotel. The top 10 countries, according to them, where the listeners are is the United States, the UK, Norway, Sweden, Germany, Denmark, Australia, Canada, Singapore and India. I think actually the Netherlands is in the 11th place. So who is this audience of the shipping podcast? What do they do for a living? Well, you work in all parts of the maritime industry. I can see so many different sectors represented. But I also see those of you who don't work in shipping, but enjoy listening to the shipping podcast. Thank you for doing that. So what is your dream work? Many of you are living your dream already. You are in the right place. But I also see the responses naming specific organizations or companies. 26% of you are in the age between 45 and 54 years old. 12% of the audience are retired people. And 43% are younger than 45 years old. It's a spread, equal spread, I would say even though most of you are a little bit (laughs) middle-aged. And as the guests, you are equally as many women as men listening to the Shipping Podcast. I'm happy to learn that. I think that is a receipt that what I do matters. 22% of you listen to podcasts daily. Hooray for you! You are my kind of people. I also listen to various podcasts every day. I learn so much and I keep up with the things that interest me. 30% of you listen weekly and 37% listens occasionally. I should have asked when you started listening to podcasts. I forgot that. That would have been interesting to know. Did you start with the shipping podcast or are you listening to other podcasts and then just stumble upon this one. I don't know. Most of you found the shipping podcast through social media. A few of you 
I have met in person. Or you found the shipping podcast through someone else who recommended it. So you have a job now. Recommend someone to listen to the shipping podcast and help me spread the word about this podcast. I think that is a great way of supporting what I'm trying to do. So what is the best with the shipping podcast, I asked. And you replied that it's the diverse guests, people with different experiences and knowledge. And then there are all the compliments to me. Oh, if I haven't told you I love you lately, please know that I do. When asking you who you want to listen to, most want more interviews with industry leaders. But you also wish to have shipping news. Well, this podcast is more of the evergreen kind and not a news outlet, really. On the other hand, I try to stay up to date with trends And I have conversations about current topics, at least I think so. And then there is someone who wants to listen to a conversation about the Jones Act. Mm. I would have to think about how to make that enjoyable. I don't know. So how can I develop the podcast now in the ninth year? Someone said to use YouTube. I think maybe that means go video. Well, that is a topic often discussed in the podcasting world, to use video or not. I believe podcasting is audio only. Video is watching and listening. It's the exact difference between TV and radio. And I prefer the radio. I do different things when I listen to podcasts. I don't have to sit still in front of a screen. Also, my guests don't feel as stressed when they know they will not be on a video. You give me advice not to focus so much on diversity. It's interesting people I speak with, who by chance are also women. It's not the fact that they are women that makes them interesting. I agree. Someone else thinks that I agree too much with my interviewees. (laughs) And you want me to be more challenging in my questions. Okay, I hear you. But I aim to make more people aware of the maritime industry. I'm not a journalist. But okay. I promise to be a little bit more critical. And you want to help me out. You want me to allow you to ask questions to my guests. That's a good idea. But oh my God, I don't have the bandwidth to do that. The shipping podcast is my hobby. It's impossible to live on being a podcaster in the maritime industry. I have to do other stuff to support myself. Thank you for taking the time to reply to my survey. Without my audience, I would not be doing this. I once printed a t-shirt with the sign, I love feedback on it. It's how I feel. I love feedback, good and bad. In this line of work, I have almost only got good feedback. Maybe some people might not dare to give me constructive feedback to my face. But if they don't give it to me, but rather tell someone else, I don't have the time for them. At the beginning of my career as a podcaster, I had companies close to me who knew me and who understood that I was trying to do something new and exciting. They wanted to support me, even if they didn't understand what I was getting myself into. Nowadays, I have an account with Patreon, 
a monetizing platform that provides business tools for content creators to run a subscription service. And it helps creators and artists earn a recurring income. I haven't promoted it since I think that podcasts should be available free of charge. That's the entire idea with podcasts. I would love instead to find some companies that think that my work challenges the maritime industry to become more inclusive, sustainable and progressive by having those conversations that shift the maritime industry's view and want to collaborate with me. I still haven't found them. I leave you with this. It's food for thoughts. And say, until the next time, from me to you, over and out. Every conversation matters. matters.